Skillshare did the thing with the money for me. So, my girlfriend got punched in the face. I guess you could say I'm not pulling any punches with this one. Really, Kurt? Okay, yeah, that was really bad. Okay, anyway, so some very slight Kurt Ritchie knowledge. I used to be a D1 athlete, uh, emphasis on use, which sounds impressive until I tell you I specifically was a high jumper which probably means nothing to a lot of you people anyway. This usually meant that my athleticism usually consisted of me jumping over a bar five or six times a day for a workout, which is probably less than a lot of non-D1 athletes do. So if I were to be a D1 athlete, the D really stood for uh, didn't do sh uh once. That, that makes sense. Like it was slightly more physically demanding than the rifle team. So you're probably thinking, why even bring up track if you didn't even do anything well because i got a lot of stuff out of it not only did it fulfill my competitive nature or pay for my tuition and rent oh god if i did not have that trial scholarship i'd be working out with a different poll for money if you know what i'm saying if you know what i'm saying but it gave me two things i really value during college a girlfriend who was someone on the team that i actually really cared about and an introduction to college athlete party life and when those two things collided a fist collided with my girlfriend's face. Really, Kurt? All right, that was bad, but you gotta give me props for that one, come on. All right, so let's jump back to my freshman year of college where the team is gearing up for what is quite possibly the biggest party of the year. See, we would compete in this thing called the Mid-American Conference Championship, which is, well, a championship for the Mid-American Conference. If you don't get it from there, you're you're not gonna hang on to this. And if we won, we'd always throw a giant party with copious amounts of alcohol. And if we lost, we throw a giant party with copious amounts of alcohol. We were gonna get faded no matter what, it was a done deal. And the party would have us, kids from other sports, normal students, it was always a wild time. And usually, I was always really excited to go. However, this year, not so much. And for a couple of reasons. For one, I was depressed. See, I didn't do too hot during our meet. Basically, I was ranked the number one jumper in the conference at the time with the highest mark. Wow. And I end up getting third. I know a lot of y'all don't really know what that means. So like in a uh, civilian speed, you have very high expectations of you. And you end up letting everyone down. And my number one way of dealing with pain in college was, can you guess? Yeah. Alcohol. Good guess. It really wasn't that difficult a choice. Yeah, I know. I, I know. Every time I drank while I was sad during college, I'd act ridiculously irrational. I was a very big verbal problem causer and people would usually have problems with me in the morning. And at this point, I acknowledge that I could fix this. I know, wild. By just not drinking when I'm sad. Seems like a very easy solution. But if I went to this thing, I was getting yurked. That was, there is no question, okay? Now, the second reason is uh, these parties have historically never gone well. Every year, this party has gotten shut down in some capacity whether it be the cops coming to shut it down or and i sh not the literal floor giving out how how maybe it's the constant stress maybe it's the steroids it always happens and that's how it is and our final thing was three the girl i was seeing at the time had an ongoing beef with someone on the team so as i said earlier at the time i was lucky enough to have bagged a girl who was also on the team although a bit incestuous in this case, I was just happy I wasn't alone. But you know, it isn't all perks. So you see, she was a very confrontational person. Unlike myself, who would rather have the wrong food than have to talk to the waiter again. And this led her to having an ongoing, very stupid beef with an upperclassman guy on the team. <laughs> Uh, not a good sign. So I feel it doesn't have to be said about how concerned I was about them being in the same house together, inebriated. So considering all of these elements, right? It's a pretty telltale sign that I should not go to this party. Yo, I, 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 I had to go, okay? I mean, my girl was going to be there with old dude. So if something went down, like I had to go. And there's no way I'm gonna handle confrontation sober so whether it be with people or my emotions it's not happening but it was going to be okay because i promised myself i was going to handle myself this time so it was fine most definitely fine anyways we pull up and naturally i'm cautious when we arrive i expect to see a mountain of people that's a very average amount so perfect that eases my mind a bit I look around the room and old dude that my girl was beefing with was there but they were at far opposite ends of the party. Felt very unlikely they were actually gonna link up. So, all right, I'm feeling really safe about that too. And the alcohol there. All right, there was a lot of alcohol there, but we'll bump it. If these two things are going well, 
I should be fine. I promise myself, I can trust me. So I throw back a couple drinks and I kind of phase out for a good portion of the night, which ended up being a huge mistake. So maybe a couple hours later, I'm outside of this party, gone, everything's fuzzy. Just casually hanging outside on my own because you know, introvert thing. Sorry, sometimes I get tired of being covered in other people's sweat. All right, it, is, it is what it now, is. Now, while I'm chilling outside, one of my girlfriend's friends walks out of the party, which is weird because she and her have like the same energy of going all out. Taking a break just doesn't seem to match her MO. And this is especially weird because she starts walking directly up to me. I have a really weird vibe about all this, especially when she proceeds to say, all right, Curtis, don't freak out. Well, that's quite a way to start this interaction, uh, ma'am. You have to understand that there's no way whatever you're about to say is gonna be good news to me. Like, obviously. Like, bro, if a doctor sat you down and started his diagnosis with, okay, don't freak out, but like, mother what? Bro, I'd be writing my will that night. So she looks me in the eyes and just straight up says it. Curtis, don't freak out, but your girlfriend got punched in the face. This isn't information that one can easily consume without freaking out. Hey, yo, don't freak out, but domestic violence. But, um, what do you expect from me? See, all her friend could really tell me as she was stopping me from going up to the door is that, well, she called some other guy on the team. I wonder if I know who she's talking about. An ugly ass N-word. And I definitely know who she's talking about. All I could imagine was the worst possible scenario like i was on the brink of losing my mind so i ran into the party and the mood has completely changed from an hour ago like an hour ago people were smiling and dancing it looked like how they say college is supposed to look like on commercials about college but this was like the mma but 18 to 23 year old middleweight edition and in the back of the party my girl was screaming at that guy all right this obviously wasn't going to plan so this was it this was the moment to judge how logical I was gonna act. I promised myself I wouldn't bug out. Even though I felt like whooping an ass for hitting my girlfriend kind of like superseded that. But something told me that wasn't the move. But something had to happen. I really forgot how insane you are. But hold on, hold on, all right? You might end up being surprised because I actually did calm down and thought with a clear head. Just give me a second to finish, all right? We'll see. I took a deep breath and thought about my options. I figured the best thing to do is to get my girl and get her out of this party and go home. Like fighting homeboy myself, like isn't gonna solve anything. And I don't see any timeline where I stop this and tell him, hey, that's not okay. And him going, oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, let's all keep having fun. Like nah, dog, you just committed assault. The only time to handle this like adults is in the morning when we're all, you know, normal. So I take a step to go through the crowd to go get my girlfriend. Oh man, I got this, I got this. <laughs> I land on the ground. A strong force just landed across my face. Someone just punched me. Yeah, that logical sh uh, just went right out the window. Bye bye. I was ready to raise hell in that room. There was no more calm, Kurt. And you'll have to learn more about that next time. So you did go crazy. Well, yeah, but after I literally like, got punched in the face. So I think that's fair. But you did. Yeah, but there are some technicalities. So I was right. On a, on a technicality. I may have gotten hit with someone's fist, but there's no reason I shouldn't hit y'all too with knowledge and a great deal. This is an ad for Skillshare. If you already didn't know, Skillshare is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning. With so much to explore real products to create and the support of fellow creative, Skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth. You won't be pained with the burden of a swollen cheek here. You'll be burdened with knowledge which in my opinion is a lot cooler of a bird. They've got classes from photography, art, writing, and more. Skillshare really has all like the cool burdens. Yo, me personally, so these videos don't suck. I've been checking out Storytelling 101, Character, Conflict, Context, and Craft. But unlike a trip to the hospital for getting hit in the face, a trip to Skillshare is actually affordable, much cheaper than American health insurance because an annual subscription is less than $10 a month. But right now for you, it can be the cost of non-American health insurance. I, I don't even know if this analogy is tracking for anyone. But but it can be free is what I'm saying, but only for the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description. So yeah, be one of the first thousand people to click my link in the description and get a free trial of Skillshare Premium. Thank you, Skillshare. Much love. What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Kurt Richie with another outro. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this one, 
definitely check out my last one. It's a pretty good one, if I say so myself. Much love to my patrons, especially the GOAT, Rooney! <laughs> check her and the awesome team out in the description. Uh, definitely consider joining the Patreon if you want to see some good stuff right at the end. Like, some exclusive shit, guys, just saying. Definitely join the Discord fam. We legit be wildin' in there. Extra, extra, extra. You do not want to miss it. Thanks again. Much love. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.